time for another Audio Game Hub gameplay review and today we're going to play Super Simon. And I think everyone is familiar with Super Simon. Back in the day, in the 80s, when I was younger, I had the real version of Super Simon. It was actually called Simple Simon and it was a, a square um, toy. It was a game, it was a square game and it had four different coloured buttons on it and you had to follow the light patterns that these buttons created so the buttons would light up in uh, various sequences and I would have to copy them and it was a fun game, it was rather addictive at the time well now there are smartphone versions and I'm sure you have probably played a smartphone version of Simon in the audio game hub they have an audio version of Simon and there are four different sound sequences that we get to follow instead of light sequences. Of course there are visual effects, so of course there are light sequences as well. But for those of us who cannot see the screen, we get to listen to the sounds and copy the sound sequence. So I'm going to stop talking, I will turn up the volume and we'll see how far I get with Super Simon. of your screen to locate four different sounds. When you are satisfied you have found them all, press and hold the screen for one second to continue. Round one, your turn. Round two, your turn. hopeless. I was hoping I would get a little further in that game. Shall we give it one more go guys? That was a bit ridiculous. Let's do it one more time. Choose the type of game. One player. Select sound pack. Page. Sound pack one. Welcome to the Simon game. Tap all four quadrants of your screen to locate four different sounds. When you are satisfied you have found them all, press and hold the screen for one second to continue. Round one, your turn. or something to wake me up. I'm really not doing good at this game today but you guys get the idea. It's a fun way to pass away the time if you're waiting for a bus or a train or I don't know anything. Just 
if you need to lose some time, it's a great fun game to play. Uh, the only downside to playing this game is I find the music in the background rather distracting and I think that's one of the reasons why I can only get to round 5 on this, uh, on this game. It was much easier at the beginning of the second game when it was silent. I could remember the sequences a little bit better. But maybe that's the point of the game. Maybe they like to make it harder by adding background music. I don't know. I would prefer the silence. So, if you guys have a Super Simon smartphone app, whether it's the, from the Audio Game Hub or another one, go ahead and play it and let me know in the comments how far you get. Do you get past round 5? Do you get past the sequence of 5? We'll see. I'm curious. If you'd like to know more about what we do besides YouTube, you can check out our website. Just go to www.justconnect.eu. If you'd like to follow us on social media and be the first to know when we upload a new video, my Twitter account is Wheelie Cody and Jessica's Twitter account is Hobo Photography. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next video, bye!